it's funny that you mentioned uh, the religion of science earlier. There's this quote from Francis Bacon that made me shudder in my seat when I read it, and it was that that those which held and that those which held and persuaded pressure of conscience were commonly interested there in themselves for their own ends. Mm. Say that one more time. That those which held and persuaded pressure of conscience were commonly interested there in themselves for their own ends. So the way that I interpreted that was that often the people that hold a certain perspective and they push it on people and they pressure people to take on their perspective, they're, they're often trying to bring people to their side for, uh, for maybe a selfish outcome. Uh, I recently watched the, it's uh, LFG, the women's soccer. There's, there's this uh, HBO documentary on the women's soccer team and the Megan, what's, what's her name? Megan Pornier something. Yeah. The captain of the women's soccer team. She, she was so confident in the way that she described everything and saying, we're the good guys. They're the bad guys. Everyone has to be on our side about it. And there were points of the documentary that I thought were more satirical than anything else. I think that if I were to watch them out of context, I would think that they were satire. But really? It was, uh, I, like I, I've read the, so I, I've read the report. I've read the actual transcript, the lawyer transcript, and something that they neglected to discuss at the end of the documentary where they, they're, they're, they're denied the opportunity to, or they're denied that they've been miss or underpaid compared to the men's team. And a part of that was that when they were discussing it initially, the last judge that they had gone through had offered the same pay as the men's team or he had offered the same because they're, they're just on different structures. So yeah. the women's team has more of a salary and then the men's team is more, they have lots of benefits on the women's team. And the men's team is almost strictly by bonuses. So winning bonuses. Mm -hmm. and the judge said, well, you can have the, if you guys want it, you guys can have the men's structure. And they said, no, we want to, we want to keep our initial salary and some of the perks that we have. And they didn't mention that at all, which, I don't know any time that there's something that's that important and someone doesn't mention it. I immediately feel as though they're arguing in bad faith, especially if it's that pertinent to the case. Like that was the reason that he said that they, he said that they had been mistreated in the way that their, their travel was. So they weren't getting the same hotels or the right flights or the same flights, the same hotels. So that's what he said going forward. But he said that they weren't being mispaid or misrepresented in their pay because they had been offered the same pay structure as the men. And they said no to that. And mm. listening to her talk about things being right and wrong and the U S soccer federation being the evil ones and the, them being the good ones. I, I'm not sure anytime that someone speaks that way, I'm always a lot more, uh, it, it gets me on my toes. Yes. It makes yes. me think, Oh, you think that you're, you think that you're right. And everyone else is wrong. That that's not a, that's not a good place to, to come from. There are lots of people in history that think that they thought that they were a hundred percent right. And everyone else was a hundred percent wrong. Yeah. I mean, I think Jordan Peterson does a really good job. Uh, I'm assuming you've listened to his talks on like equality mm -hmm. and it's just like, well, yeah, I mean, maybe like, maybe it's just like, Oh, you're male, you're women. But also he talks about the agreeableness of men and women and how he coaches women to be less agreeable mm -hmm. in negotiations. Yeah. It's very interesting. Or talking about how men not only are willingly, but can sacrifice more of their time to not having a family, where women aren't so ready for that, nor can they because of their body and being able to reproduce. And so men can sacrifice 40, 45 years of their life, just to focusing on grind, 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 working the late hours, early mornings, whereas women more than likely want to start having a family and putting more time to that. I'm thinking that as well right now. Like I, I love volleyball. I'm making the most money I've made in my career, playing on the best teams, but you know what? I really love my girlfriend and I, I want to commit more time to her and to commit more time to her would be to sacrifice volleyball, if not quit volleyball. So I could lose anywhere from uh, maybe one to five more years of my career. 
But if it's important to me, then yeah, I'll do that. And that's kind of the same thing with equality where it's like, okay, well, is it the opportunity or outcome that we're looking at? Mm -hmm. And then he goes even like darker talking about like the, the tough jobs that men work. And he's like, well, I don't see women lining up for these. <laughs> I, just, I just kind of laugh because he's obviously trolling, but um, you know, it's uh, like you said, it's just not black and white, but with these black and white solutions or potential solutions that is derived out of the narratives brings hate and anger and not real solutions. But it's just so much easier to like grasp on to like, that's not fair, they're wrong. Instead of like, oh, we can go like a little deeper to why this is happening. Yeah, that, that pay equity argument is always interesting to me because if you break it down, it actually looks like a, I think it's a 23 to a 25 factor analysis. So there, hmm. there are that many contributing factors that put into how, to why the total amount is more in the skew of men. Mm -hmm. And that can even come into like the general interests. So STEM fields is one and men tend to work longer hours and they work more overtime. And as you said, they, they work jobs that are laborious jobs that a lot of people don't want to work, but they tend to be quite high paying. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was funny because that was another part of that documentary that seemed satirical to me was that the captain was talking about how the women had, they actually got paid more gross because they had been so successful. So they've won the, the world championship three times in a row, which is just crazy. Mm -hmm. And that was something that she said was that we've, uh, we've made more than the men because of this, but it's not equitable in off the beginning. So if we had the same payment structure as the men, then we would have made this much. And that's, that's absolutely a point to be made, but it seems that she's making the, the argument for why men are making more in other fields in saying that, well, we, we work this much more, we've won this much more, we've done this more, we've done this more. And I found that interesting. I found that funny. So I, I follow a little bit, but like to your point, I'm just like, man, this is so ridiculous. Like I'm not even gonna pay attention to it um, because of this like outrage, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like, this is wrong. That's this, this, where it's like, I have a conversation about it. Um, but if I understand correctly, they were making more money than the men due to their bonuses. And if they were to have the same pay structure as the men, they would have made even more money, but they declined that. Is that right? So they, they had declined that. They had declined that the last time they went into their talks with whatever judge. Okay. They, they had declined that because they wanted to keep some of the structure that they already had. So if you get injured and you're, if you're on the men's team and you get injured, then you're not getting paid. If you're not playing, you're not getting paid. You're not getting the bonuses that the people, okay. those bonuses go to the active players. And so that security is something that's super important for a lot of people. And so they, they wanted to retain a little bit of that security. Mm -hmm. That's the way that I understand it. I'll actually, I'll post the, in, in the show links, for anyone that wants to read yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. And so what, what, what was the whole like point? She was just making like a kind of a hoorah, just in general, like women overall should have more attention or more money. Essentially. Like, uh-huh. Yeah, I don't know. I just, and things like that, it's just, I just feel like there isn't discussion where it's just like hate. The only solution is like more hate for uh, this drawn line in the sand where now there's two teams and you're on this side, you're on that side. If you're on the other side, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's just, that's just not how things work. We have to like be like a collective team and there's going to be people that you don't agree with. You don't enjoy playing with, maybe you don't enjoy training with, but it's like come together and it's like something's wrong. You don't say to the newspaper, it's wrong. You like meet them for a coffee and like, Hey, let's talk about this. Or like, Hey, can I talk to you after practice? Like, but now in the world, it's just, everything is just so mm, out of control with this cancel culture that we're living in. And if you're not on my team, then you're wrong. And if you're wrong, then you're bad and you shouldn't exist. Maybe you shouldn't have a job. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't be able to provide for yourself or your family.